Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of a brand new playthrough on the channel and that playthrough is not just any playthrough, it's a new Atlas game, it's Metaphor Re Fantasio, Fantasio, I don't know how to say it, but it's Atlas and it's Persona adjacent and I am super excited for this ever since I saw the first trailer and saw like Shoji Maguro's name and it just it looks so cool. So for a brief history of my experience with the Shin Megami Tensei franchise, I have played I started with actually Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, I believe, pretty sure. And then I played Persona 3 Fez. I played Persona 4 original. I played Persona 5 Royal. I played the original Soul Hackers. I played Soul Hackers 2. I played Shimigami Tensei 5. And now we're here with Metaphor. I also played Catherine, also Atlas. Not really like in this style of game, but I just want to point that out that that game is really cool too. And I just, I love these games. Persona 5 Royal is my favorite one of all of them so far. And that was one of the first playthroughs that I put up on this channel. Some of you guys, probably quite a few of you guys found me through that, maybe. If you did, let me know. Oh, and so in this playthrough, I was trying to decide if I wanted to like edit out a lot or leave a lot in and I decided to leave a lot in instead of just focusing mainly on like cutscenes and minimal like dungeon fighting and exploration focus on like boss battles and stuff but I decided to kind of leave a lot of that stuff in so if you guys like to watch YouTube videos as like podcasts like I do like mainly listening while you're doing something else well maybe while you're driving or if you don't mind sitting down and watching and either re-experiencing reading through a lot of the lore or maybe if you missed if you're kind of rushed through these games a little bit more and you didn't read a lot of the lore you didn't talk to a lot of the npcs i do voice all of that stuff and so it'll be a great reminder refresher or you can learn a little bit more about the story or if you want to skip through to just all the best parts you can do that as well i might try to put timestamps to help some of you guys navigate through that or if somebody in the comments would want to help with timestamps that would be really uh, appreciated but anyways i just i want to let you guys know that i really get into these games and i really try to like read some of the lore not all of it but sometimes i like to go into it um let's play metaphor thank you guys for watching enjoy and i'll see you guys in the comments i trust this will suffice god smiles upon the generous oh away with you back to your sexpit beggar A land grotesque as its people. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh. That dream died long ago. You should have done the same. <laughs> Your kingdom will perish alongside you. Horny man doesn't seem very nice. By my hand. I cannot fathom it. His majesty killed in his own bed. Unless the, the king was the really, really Ray evil. Yet to wilt without an heir to wear the crown. What will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. 
In dark times, we must stand together. Your eminence! Who could do this? Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet... And yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Shadows stir in the castle just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? No. Huh? Luis. A shame to die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. One has to ask, them dead, who shall take the throne? Character designer, Shoji Meguro! Ah! <laughs> Doesn't even feel real. Okay. Press the any button. New game. Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Um. Just a purple-haired bunny girl. No one special. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Seems intriguing. Someone's already dead. Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. Oh, that's Greg Chun? Oh, he sounds different here than usual. Who I really am. Who are you who shall guide the protagonist? Okay, so... I'm not naming the protagonist. I'm naming myself. Bun... <laughs> is, it, is it gonna fit? Oh my god, it barely fits. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. Ah, a most unusual name. One I've never heard in our world. Which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It's a little strange, yes. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Yeah, that's definitely Greggy boy. He sounds a lot, like, softer here. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? 
is fantasy limited to the confines of the imagination? So they're asking, is fa can fantasy be something beyond what we can imagine? Would you call it a powerless creation? I'm going to say no. More than wishful thinking. More than fiction. Something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. This must be what you believe. I confess, my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. It's like difficulty. Normal. Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true then? The king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the roads safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. To say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! You know, these horn people Our don't seem very nice. Commoners. No crown or church will save us. But so Lord far. Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is no tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... Uh, an igniter? Uh, how they get rid of those? <laughs> come on, come on! Hey, keep it moving! Up. Next one! He's an elder! So he is. No horns, no knife ears. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. Oh my. Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line. Let's want to get stuck like us. Oh. Speaking about getting stuck. You drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. <laughs> my my beating heart right now. <laughs> She's got red hair, guys. <laughs> and, and she's a badass. So it seems like most oh, people have This place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Um It's nor it's in the norm to have horns or pointed ears, and if you have neither, then you're an Elda and seems to be like kind of a lower class. Um, uh, maybe? And I noticed that our character has multicolored eyes, so I'm not sure what that means yet. Gallica. Gallica. I like that name. Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? She cute. Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. Mm. 
What's our mission? What mission? Come on. This is no time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. I feel like we're in the beach episode already with her outfit. Tradia Desert. Think we'll make it? You don't look hurt, though, so that's good news. You can move, right? Uh, I'm thinking we should find a place where we can see the whole area. Okay, R2 to dash and circle to dodge. Okay, R2 to dash. You can view tutorials in the main Let's menu. Go. Just keep going straight. We're looking for somewhere high up with a good view. Okay, so you guys won't be able to see my missions, but it says reach the capital and get to higher ground. And... Huh. Well, the... Huh. The art style is interesting. Wow. That's trippy. It kind of looks like... Kind of has that... <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know what it looks like to me? Like a paint by numbers that hasn't been painted yet. And then you have to paint it in. But then when you get up close, it it just... um. You can see all the detail in the color. Uh, that's interesting. There's something in the sand. Um, here's my dodge. Wait, I'm sensing something close. Don't move. <laughs> Sandworms. Watch out. Hey, I'll turn the alerts back on. Yeah, those look especially dangerous. So watch out. I don't think they've noticed this yet, though. Sandworm Valmo. Press L2 to use face sight. This ability lets you see what Gallica senses in the environment. When you see an enemy you've never confronted before, it will show up as unknown. Prepare as best okay. you can. Okay, so let's try to take out one of these small fries then. Stay vigilant. These ones aren't messing around. Oh, hyeno. Hurry! Dodge. 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 <laughs> How do Get I? Ready, I'm dying. I'm dying already. <laughs> Items. Medicinal herb. Let's use another one. Oh my goodness! Right Wait. Come and get me. Oh. Oh. Can I lock on? Come on. <laughs> I wasn't prepared hey, for this. Ah! I thought it was. I mean. I guess, I guess I did hear that it wasn't completely turn-based, but I forgot. Um, not <laughs> Why? I picked normal difficulty. You know what? I'm like doing no damage to them. What's this? Memorandum. Magic. Magic igniters. Oh, this is just... Okay, this is... Okay, I can read about stuff. That's good. Oh, shit. Okay, guys. Magic igniters are a tool that acts as a conduit for magic power without which people cannot perform magic. One must obtain a permit from the kingdom by passing a test. Such as those serving in the state army, igniters can be costly depending on power and specifications and purchasing them is akin to buying land or housing. Oh, wow. Gauntlet runner... Magic-powered semi-automated vehicles designed for traversing the wastelands. Traveling the wilds on foot or even in a lightly armed carriage has historically been incredibly dangerous, making any long-distance trips a life threat. Yeah, it is life-threatening. Gallica's a fairy who accompanies us as a chaperone for his special mission, which we still don't know what it is. Even when I tried to find out, she wouldn't tell me. Um, she can't fight because she's tiny. Uh, but she can sense Magla and knowing and knows magic. And she can become heated when her personal values are tested. She is a reassuring travel companion. Culture. Sanctism. Monotheistic religion, meaning 
one god devoted to the worship of the one god, the Almighty. The religion of a majority across the United Kingdoms, its sanctors preach that uttering the prayer closure, closure, with one's whole heart will reach God bringing salvation. It is the state religion and the sanctest hierarchy is deeply intertwined with the kingdom's politics. Currently, the crown theocracy is the heart of the kingdom's political affairs. Okay, oh yeah, back to fighting for our lives. I'm right here. I feel like I'm underleveled to fight these guys. I do two damage. Let me see if there's any is there anything else I can do? Come on. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to beat these two and then we're just gonna run past everything else. Like this. <laughs> Wake up! Fantasy is dead. <laughs> champion against fear, rise and. Hi, Lizzie. Okay. Hi, Stamos. Avoid the enemies and head for the high ground. Okay, fine. 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 No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm really tempted to go kill one, though. Watch really out. tempted. Oh, no. Looks like they found us. It's fine. Look. We can run fast. Just checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? No, refresh my memory. Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? <laughs> oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives. I just want to make sure that you remember. So I'm just I'm testing you, okay? First, we get to the royal capital and uh -huh. get you enlisted as a guardsman at the army's recruitment center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs. Or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. It's as though music is playing directly in my mind. The effect of Galaga's magic. The magic is inspiring. Music was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. Makes the world a little easier. isn't it? What a relief. Grand Trad is already in sight. Let's go. Almost there. Let's keep moving and try to stay out of sight. Yes! It's got a very, um... Um... The music sounds very Middle Eastern? And listen to that piano. Like this, the, the singing. Item. Medicinal herb. That should come in handy. Pocket it. Great find. Keep it. Oh boy. Okay. Do we have a map? Tutorial. Nope. Okay. Maybe not yet. Maybe not at all. Oh, this is bad. 
What? What's bad? Oh. Not good. Run for it. Ah! This land of eight tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Ukronia. The year is 785. Ukronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart, and no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. By this story of fantasy, May this faded world be painted anew. Eight tribes and three kingdoms? Oh boy. Oh great seeker, bearer of fantasy empowered. Hear my wish and come forth from thy epoch of glory to grant... Didn't know it was going to go that fast. There's cat people. Lying dog. Don't try to deny it. Or dog people. You trample the law for the fun of it. <laughs> Let it be known. For misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah! There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a parapus said. Parapus. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you spare some coin? Bless you. Oh, careful! Hurry. There's too many of them. Don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. <laughs> We're not tourists here. We've gotta stay focused. Eat. Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here, in the whole city, even. The capital's incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Well, I've seen horns, I've seen dogs, and I've seen elves. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Plumars and Lusants than anyone else. Those must be the horns and the pointers. Which means a dopey elder kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Dopey! Try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about his majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play, assassination. Careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. It was Louise. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Louise at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> What's this? The king dead. His Flashback? son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power. But not even the kingdom's best, the saint, could purify this affliction. Over ten years, he has languished under this curse. 
How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest. But uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. Is that the prince? I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us dead. left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? Oh, so we're a, we're a messenger. This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. We can't fail. We gotta do it. Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. The prince lives! Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. So? Do you know where we're going? Feel free to admit that you're lost and ask me for advice. R1 is the local map. And... Um, triangle for Galaga. And press up on the D-pad. Save in Whatever safe areas. Save. Yay! Let's go see. We don't have time for detours right now. If you're lost, check your map. Just go straight down the main street and you should find the recruitment center. Whatever will I do? Okay, right. here's our map. Here's us. San Lumeo Street. Okay, let's go to the... Oh, gosh. But then there's also so much to explore at the same time. May I ask? May I ask you to step away from the accumulator? That goes du uh, double for one of your tribe. Accumulator? Looks like you don't know anything. How what pathetic. You if you have no business here, then be gone. You're getting in the way of my work. That's Accumulator. Oh, let's check our... Our memorandum. Oh, oh shit. There's new stuff everywhere. Magic is a general term for the technique that consumes power to cause phenomena that bend the laws of nature. Um, for modest use in daily life to destructive power in war. As magic igniters, which require a state permit, are required for people to use magic, many cannot wield magic. Yes. Oh my gosh, so I have three things about magic igniters here. Holy crap. The expense is so great, buying more than one igniter would be difficult even with the entire lifetime income of the average commoner. In order to prevent accidents and crime, the Crown Theocracy and the Magic Association have exclusive production rights of igniters. Unauthorized production is considered a serious offense. The time needed to cast magic depends on the user's skill, but can also be slightly impacted by the capabilities of the igniter itself. While using an igniter with sedentary pose is little problem, activating an igniter while moving is difficult and is thus advised to use them cautiously. But there's, there's too much. Too much stuff. Music and magic. 
Unusual variety of magic that causes the listener to become aware of their state of mind through the form of sound and music. It is a modest form of magic with seemingly no utility on the battlefield. It's considered a meaningless trifling skill in society and is thus rarely used. Okay, so it's it's our state of mind. The, mag the music is are going to be representative of our state of mind in this game. Kingdom of Ucronia. Uni a union of allied kingdoms spans the kingdom of Ucronia, the principality of Oceana, and the principality of Montario. Um... Ucronia being the suzerain, with its king holding authority over all three kingdoms. The original king, Hythodeus, was this nation's uh, United Nations' first ruler, and is often referred to as the Founder King. Continent is surrounded by fast-running currents, and ships can only set anchor from the southern inland sea, where the otherwise swift currents are less violent. As a result, there have been few invasions from overseas, and the three countries have achieved long histories. The capital of the kingdom is Grand Trad, the largest city in the kingdom, located uh, the most widespread religion is Sanctism, established as the religion under the reign of the most recent monarch, King Hythlodeus the V. We're learning, guys. History class. The nation, uh, Dr a Grand Trad, nation's largest city, capital of both the Kingdom of Ukronia and the United Kingdoms at large. So I wonder how there's three separate kingdoms, but they're all united under one king. So I don't really understand that. Do the other kingdoms have their own rulers, but they, they're just like lesser to the ruler of Ukronia? Okay, it's the royal capital, and I, I don't answer, like, because I'm sure we'll learn later. But I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> also referred to as the royal capital being the home of the palace and sea of the royal bloodline, known for its solid ramparts, a site which has long been emblematic of the city itself. However, when the massive regolith Grand Cathedral was built, the building's grandeur became the new symbol of the Grand Trad. So, their rulers are chosen by bloodline, so with the prince out of commission and, and possibly dead co according to maybe people that aren't in the know, and the king dead, uh, who's the successor? The Elda tribe. Ninth tribe. Oh, there's nine, at least nine tribes, guys. Distinct from the commonly known Eighth Tribes, they are condemned by the Sanctus Church for inheriting a dangerous magic heretical to the teachings of the Church. Their population is so small that to even see one in public is rare, and they face greater discrimination than any other tribe. In fact, many outside the main cities don't believe they exist. Each of the Eight Tribes possesses unique physical traits, making them recognizable as a glance. Um, the Elda bear no distinguishing features and thus are regarded as inferior beings. That's fucked up. The Clamar composes the largest population in all of the Allied Kingdoms. Their most distinctive feature is their horns. They have broad diversity of facial and body types. <coughs> The Ukronian royal family are Klamar, and members of this tribe hold a majority of important positions within the government, leading many Klamars to internalize the belief that they are the kingdom's most preeminent tribe. They f value freedom and dislike illogical restraint. They enjoy cultivating discussion, but do not always consider the situation or appropriateness of doing so, which occasionally leads to conflict. However, some studies suggest that this, this disposition was... I'm trying to read too fast that this disposition is what drives them to seek governmental positions and other important offices. The Roussant tribe, one of the most populous tribes, second to the Clamar, long pointed ears are their most distinguishing feature. They boast excellent physiques. They have superior martial prowess. Roussant women are stronger than most men of other tribes. Yeah, I, I saw that firsthand, that cute red haired girl. 
Many inevitably work in the military and often hold key offices. They're considered as influential as the Klamar, and the two tribes are sometimes called the prevailing tribes. They pride themselves on outperforming others in strength. While this can be perceived as a self-disciplined competitiveness, on the flip side, there are many with a belligerent temperament obsessed with proving superiority in any situation. I think Louise was a uh, Roussant. Carapace. They have bestial ears and a tail. There are many variations in their hair and skin colors, including cold colored skin not seen in other tribes. They are physically adept and often honest with their emotions, giving them a reputation for hedonism for better or for worse. Wait, what's hedonism? Can someone, um, uh, give me the definition? They are drawn to parties and festivities, and while this happy-go-lucky charm is often to their credit, it can also be seen as recklessness. Due to this stereotype, they are looked down upon by other tribes, which prevents them from securing a foothold in politics despite being nearly as populous as the Roussant and Klamar tribes. The discrimination against them is especially obvious in large cities. Gluttony, a rush for life, enjoying things above all. Okay. Seeking pleasure above all. I see. <laughs> Prince of Ucronia. Son and heir to the throne of Hylodeobolotheus, whatever, the fifth. More than ten years ago, a mysterious attack in the royal palace left him afflicted with a deadly curse. Um, his recovery was interrupted several years later when he and his closest aide suddenly vanished from the castle without a trace. The king exhausted all possible means to find him, but was ultimately unsuccessful. He was formally declared deceased three years ago, and a royal funeral was held in his honor. Oh, but the people who stole him were these scholars that we're working with. Gallica is a fairy who accompanies the traveling boy. I think I... Oh, I read that already. Sanctism. I read that already, too. Okay. Blue. Whatever will I do? Oh, come on, fish. Ah, it, it's an Elda. Why is one of your kind here in the Grand Trad? Hey, what's wrong with me being here? Isn't it obvious? The church has made it clear the Elda weird devilish magic that defies the teachings of sanctism. <laughs> devilish, devilish magic, she says. If you were so magical, I doubt you'd have it so hard in life. She's aggravating, but let's not cause a scene. I want to see what kind of magic I can do. Ooh. I like these. Uh. Pu puppy people. <laughs> I forgot what they're called already. Damn. Well, there's nine different... We've only learned about mm. four of the different kinds of people. Hello. Parapus. So you. An Elda, huh? Pretty unusual in these parts. She seems important. Like, she looks like not just your generalized NPC. She has pink hair and a scarf. She has a portrait. Yes. Oh, not trying to be rude. Just mind yourself. This city ain't the friendliest to us inferiors. I appreciate the advice. <laughs> yeah, be careful, or they'll get you too. Just like all us papy mm. papyrus parapus. Damn. Huh? Oh, man. Another interesting looking character. A shady woman. Oh, she didn't want to talk to me, though. Wait, so this girl... Oh, where'd she go? Does she not have a portrait at all? Oh. We should take a break. Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. 
so many different types too. Uh, now I want one. Now I want one for myself. Yeah, until you see the price tag. Can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? You didn't want to talk to me before. Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? I don't think I have any money. Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. Tell me about this royal scepter. Uh, the royal scepter? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? Uh... I, I got amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> a symbol and instrument of the crown's sovereignty passed down through generations if you believe the legends it houses incredible magic world shattering power more practically you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter and in the king's hands it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion now he's dead with no living heir either tragic isn't it kingly magic is of little use without a king you picked a bad time to visit boy i don't know why you're here but there's trouble brewing i'll keep that in mind i'll keep that in mind a word of caution then your survival is your own responsibility Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. There are some very interesting looking ladies in this game so far. Let's head there. Oh yeah, right there. My money is zero. <laughs> Literally zero money. Ah, oh, I joined the army because I looked up to Lord Louis Louise, but now I get my arse ha handed to me if I so much as mention it. Blah, 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 blah. What's the state army going to do now? We won't find any decent recruits giving the messy state of things currently. You are. Oh, the recruitment place? Go down this street towards the cathedral and it'll be the building <coughs> on the left. You looking to enlist as a soldier? Hmm. Not like there's other work for elders, I guess. Don't make assumptions. Oh, you think you're better than the grime of Sunshade Row you crawled out of? You're in for a rude awakening, boy. Wow. You started out so nice and then you just got so rude. It's a beautiful church, but now is not a great time to pray. Oh, fine. Fine, let's go get recruited. We want to get some fighting in anyways, right? I was hoping we'd blend in with the crowd and no one would notice that you're an elder. But the people here have sharper eyes than I thought. We don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand right. tall. Easier said than done, I'm sure. But it's for the sake of the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center we're looking for should be just ahead. New memorandum. Oh, shit. Shit. Magla magic. Uh, 
Ma uh, magla is a, ma a, a technical term for magic power. There are varying amounts in all things found in nature, including people, plants, and animals. Because magla sometimes crystallizes in areas of high concentration, some scholars theorize that magla may be physical particles too small to be seen without uh, by the naked eye. The royal scepter. Passed down through the royal family, proof of their right to rule. Has extraordinary capabilities. Powerful enough to induce natural disasters. It can only be wielded by the king. And the popularly termed royal magic it commands serves both as a pillar of the king's authority and a deterrent to war. Any king of you, Cronium must be well versed in magic and the boon of royal lineage is not enough to ensure succession of the throne. Historically, there have been many cases where an offshoot member of a prince's family has become king. When the bloodline's most direct heritor was judged not to have enough magical aptitude to truly wield the royal scepter. Oh. Royal magic is powerful magic passed down through the generations of the kings invoked through a unique magic igniter called the royal scepter and bring about anything the king desires there are several records of its use in the long history of the kingdom be it for revolutionary or oppressive aims but each is described as a cataclysmic disaster it continues to represent a strong deterrent power to the royal family in the kingdom that's pretty crazy <coughs> forden a Stivum Fordum. Forden, the 78th Sanctifex of the Sanctus Church, the state religion of the United Kingdom. He holds the highest authority within Sanctism and as such is the leader of the Crown Theocracy. Despite hailing from the Rogue tribe rather than the more common Clamar or Roussan tribes. Oh, he's from the Roag or Rogue tribe. He enjoys a broad base of support in the turmoil following the sudden death of the previous king, many view him as something of an interim king, grant, giving his position as the leader of the moderate faction. But he has these, like, markings on his face and slightly pointed ears. I wonder if those are the... The Forden... What was it? No, his, he's a Forden. The rogue people. Recruitment center... It's where people get recruited. Okay. Yay. Really now? Huh? Recruitment center? What, you want to enlist or something? It's just down this road, if that's the case. But an Elda enlisting? Bloody hell, what'll be next? Wouldn't be such a sorry state if Louise was in power. The mouth on this guy. If he, we weren't focused on saving the prince, I'd give him a piece of my mind. But let's just grin and bear it. What's this? What you got on your head? You the young man, might I interest you in our shop's wares? This is no ordinary Mustari I'm shop. Sorry. Oh, uh, we're actually in the middle of something. We've got something to do at the recruitment center. The recruitment center? If you're lost, it's the large building down the street and to the left. Stop then by I when know. you have time. I do business here all the time, so if you're in the area, do stop by. I have zero monies. Ideas. So on the left. Hmm. On the left. Come Must on. be this That's way. Wrong, oh. Guess not. Come off it. Let's That's check our wrong. Okay, let's check our map. Clearly we've gone too far. Uh -huh. Maybe it's this place. We found it. Hey Janice, what's the cosplay? No, no nothing. The recruitment center. No, no cosplay. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. Thanks. Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? 
The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's work. Uh, I think I saw him on the cover art. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An apathy one, aren't you? Fine, Lord Lin. Welcome to the guard. Where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. Great. Mark my words. That's what I always wanted. War will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. Cool. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Damn. <laughs> you will burn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up. Huh, an elder. I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So... What brings you to enlist? I want to fight for change. I need the money. I'm just bored. I need the... I mean, I need the money. I need the money. <laughs> That's not a lie. Pragmatic, if nothing else. But I suppose a vagrant like you could use the work. So what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? I'm strong. I'm sharp-minded. I can take a lot of punishment. I'm small but quick. I've always been lucky. Uh, I can take a lot of punishment. I can take a lot of punishment. Really now? Oh, I'd not have guessed. Sounds like an invitation to me. Try me. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Please enter the name of this story's protagonist. Uh, is there a, um, I always like to do the canon name. Is there one yet? There's no canon name, but Atlas used Will for their playthroughs. Uh, okay, people are saying Will. Okay. Will... William? Or just Will? I guess just... No, you know what? I'm gonna do William. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be a little bit different. His name is William. Will for short. Wilbur. Wilbur's a good one. Ash Williams. <laughs> you know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're shorthanded as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. I'll try, as long as I don't have to fight any of those wolf things that I... <laughs> you can pick up your kit at reception. Stand in as your guardsman armor and igniter. Kingdom property! So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. I get an igniter! On your way now. Hop to. Next! What a long line. Guess we've got no choice but to wait our turn. Oh. 
Can't even spell your name, bloody Parabas. That captain seems like a jerk, but it's for the sake of the mission. We have to put up with him for a while. Eavesdropping won't get us anywhere. Let's hurry and get in line. <sighs> they said tribe don't matter in the army, but they'll probably put me as front as a meat shield. Not that I can find better work. Wish I could serve Count Luis. His army is built on merit, so even a parapist stands a chance. Blast it! I came to enlist because I heard you can make a quit reeve here, but they really make you work alongside creepy Eldar? A parapist I can deal with, but Eldar are right ominous. Hey, where'd you hear that? <laughs> God's own scriptures, that's where. Guess you can't expect an elder to know shite. <sighs> Let him say what he wants. Finding someone like him would just be a waste of energy. Boy, that. True, true, <sighs> true. Whatever. You're so young. Are you enlisting too? Well, not much choice if you don't have money or a job. Reeve makes the world go round, as it were. You want a magic igniter? Join the queue. Cutting's only gonna get you chewed out. Reeve. Reeve is the currency? That's a new one. Whoa. You enlisting as well? The line starts behind me, if so. Or was there something you needed? Um, are you really a noble? I take it you overheard my interview. Yes, guilty as charged. I am a noble, but just a countryside son of a lord. My family is of no real consequence. Whoa. Well, let's just say I have my own circumstances. I am volunteering to fight in order to protect the kingdom. Foolish or not. Join the queue. I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? Wish they'd have told us that. I'm ready to fight some monsters. What do they call them? It's something like um human Humans? Next. We're gonna fight humans? Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. It's better off in my hands. Give it here. Move force. With crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure resort strength? Oh, to forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Um, thanks. Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. I'll try. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. Cinder igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> the thing around his neck is apparently a magic igniter. The captain I spoke with earlier had one too. They must take on many different forms, like I saw on the main street. <sighs> and take this too. Protect it with your life. Royal Capital Vicinity Map. Wow, that's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, stripling. I wanna fight. I wanna fight. 
My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Pain. Oh, that doesn't sound nice. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. This rest! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. This is neat so far. We get to join the army. I'm already like noticing. It's just the world is very dense and enriched already. Uh, we have all the different kingdoms and the different tribes I think and uh, I'm really excited and there's a lot of things that we can read about in the memorandum so that's always a uh, good good stuff oh right I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet but he'll know you by your sword he'll also oh, know right. right away why we've come and don't worry I'll recognize him our mission well the charming captain is probably right we should get some rest before tomorrow. Um, hey, you awake? You told me to rest. Nope, I'm asleep. Nope, I'm asleep. Good night. Ha ha, very funny. Look, I just have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still. When you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open? It's a lot. You okay? It's just how it is. That's just how it is. Well, I don't think that should be how it is. Well, obviously not, but what are we gonna do? Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? I'd rather not think about it. I'd rather not think about it. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I'll drop it. The prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Sure. Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. Thanks. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? Oh. So... Bunny Tales is viewing this fantasy story, but like our reality is fantasy to them. So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Oh, it's not our world. Sorry. <laughs> It's not our world. No discrimination. Okay, uh, people accept each other. Nope, that's something similar, but not ours. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. <laughs> In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. You see, no magic, 
no tribal conflict, and equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy, but it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh, <sighs> well, guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Good night. Night night. Yes, I will save my game. Thank you for asking. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet, they burned your home down. It's tragic, and no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. I don't see his horns. Do they not grow in until like they get older? I won't give up either. Trust me. Oh, I love the prince already. He seems so sweet. I'm a prince, but I need to be a hero. Until arrival at the northern border fort, one day remains. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> see. I wonder how far we've come. Let's find our destination, the northern border fort. You can view information about your surroundings in the world map. Use left stick to highlight the location you want to learn about and then press X. Ooh. There's not many locations yet. Uh, hold on. Royal capital of Tra uh, Grand Trad. Let's see here. 
it'll probably be a while before we can go back. This okay. place here. Oh, hold on. Squad camp. That's where you want to go. That's the army we campsite we spent last night there. This place here. Northern border fort. Fortress built to defend Grand Trad during the Annex War. After long disuse, it is now manned to, uh, due to frequent monster sightings. Hey, don't forget. The northern border fort. This is where a contact should be, so hopefully we find him quickly. Got okay, it. then. All we can do for now is rest. We have a big day tomorrow. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. Hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician. Master of arms. When I earn rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades. Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? Uh, a world with only one tribe. It tells of a world united as one tribe. No discrimination, eh? A far cry from our world, then. And from ours. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you. A babe with his first sword thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. You're not even a part of this conversation, dude. Oh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. Is it a fight you want? If it's a fight you want, draw your blade. <laughs> Didn't think you'd just challenge me, straight out. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time. But only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although, I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? Leon Stroll. I'm William. That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. Yes. It's a little bit longer than Will. For what it's worth, my <laughs> title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, oh, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is it time to fight? Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen, stay on guard. 
is is too <sighs> he's unconscious not one of mine must be one of the fort's guard those damn vultures across the border they must have heard about the king's death anyway to the fort double time I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. Oh, it's not because you're too scared to go, is it? You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Or are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's royal army. Swallow your fear, fight with pride, and we'll all have medals this time tomorrow. Woo! He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go. Let's fight. Damn it. Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward, to the fort then. That's where my mission goes. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, I've heard that before. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's... a stench in the air, and it's getting stronger. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a... fairy? Did you catch it yourself? Um, she's with me. She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Galica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly. Um... I'm not so sure. No? He's never used <laughs> one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be alright. I swear, I won't let you die. I'm with you. New ally, Stroll. A brave fighter trying to conceal his nobility has become your ally. What? Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. Let's go. Whoa, okay. look at this place. Well, this is an unexpected turn of events, but don't lose sight of our mission, okay? I know. Here we go. Be careful. Our contact should be inside, and we just have to find him. <sighs> You're running with such purpose. What was that you were talking about? You said something about your ally? Actually. Oh, it's nothing. I was just worried about the soldiers inside. I see. I see. Well, whatever the case, the situation concerns me too. Let's go inside. Okay. Uh. Stroll! Young man of the Clamar tribe. Magla crystal. Crystallized cluster of magla that farms naturally in places where high concentrations are left to foster. Uh huh. They recently developed methods to create them artificially. Oh boy. We know we're we know that's not good. The color of the crystals depends on the formation process and its impurities. High purity natural cr uh, crystals are indispensable. As a result, some value them higher than gems and precious metals. Which color is the best color? Hmm. Northern Border Fort. Fantasy novel. Okay. This is... Let's go in. That's a big door! Oh. 
What in the world? I'm supposed to practice on small fry first. Human. Oh God, they were talking about humans. That's not a human. We have to help the survivors. <laughs> oh my God, what survivors? This is horrific. So many dead. Oh. Bryas, I hope you're safe. Oh. There's no time to waste. If we look, we may find some that still draw breath. <sighs> is there anyone alive in there? Answer me! Ah! This is, is that a human too? Get back. We've got company. What? What's the deal with this one? It feels similar to that monster from earlier. It's smaller, but is that a human too? It looks like we're going to have to fight it. Wait, if it's a human, do we even stand a chance? All the more reason. We just can't let it be. Trust me, I have some history with them. What do you think? Besides, our only hope right now is to join forces and strike as one. Would you not agree? Agreed. I'm glad you've still got your wits about you. With you here, we might just get through this. Got it? <laughs> the the monster design of this game is crazy so far and i've only seen like a couple things look we don't stand a chance if that thing against that thing if we attack it separately we can only fight if we work out a plan together take care of it please understand the two of us working as one i'll trust your judgment on the timing of the attack press triangle to engage in a squad battle alongside your allies you can press triangle every time, but if you use square attacks to send enemies first, you'll start the battle with an advantage. Stay on the offensive by continuously attacking with square to deplete their break gauge that appears next to them, eventually stunning them. Will be fine. Boom. <laughs> Squad. Okay. Squad battles with stunned enemies. When engaging in a squad battle against a stunned enemy, one party member will perform an advantageous initial attack. In addition, enemies remain stunned at the start of the battle. Be sure to take advantage of this. This soundtrack is so interesting. I like it. In squad battles, press square to attack with your equipped weapons or triangle to use skills, which consume MP. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but he's spitting back. <laughs> Performing an attack will expend the turn icon seen at the top of the screen when all turn icons are consumed. The opponent's round begins. Uh, we, okay, call power, wield arms, melee, guard. Okay, what skills do I have? Mage fire, use equipped igniter to deal weak fire magic damage to one enemy. Boom. I got 10 cents. I got 10 reeve. That was the last of it. All right. We pulled through somehow. We're alive, and that's all I could ask. Let's press forward while we still can. Proceed further into the fort. What's down here? Oh my gosh, let's look at our map. That's not our map. Oh, there's like stuff to explore. Nice. I bet we'll be for that. 
for not getting damage. Wait, what? No, 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 hold on. Oh, distribute points. Whoa. Strength, magic, endurance, agility, luck. Magic. That was the last of it. Magic. Where is he? He's still alive, right? Be careful. Watch yourself. That thing is dangerous. Don't be fooled by the way it looks. Wait, what thing? Oh god, there's a thing. There's a thing in here? No, in here. No, wait. In here. It's a tooth. It's a It's a tooth? There are cold. This is our chance. This could be our chance. Everyone go. The power of fun. Even easier than expected. We made short work of it. <laughs> Open door? Nope. Seems as though it's locked. <laughs> Come on! Stand down! Let's give him a fight! Let's get my own! Stay calm, everyone. A tough one. The power of fun! We kind of kick ass. We kind of kick ass a little bit. Just saying. I think we got them all. We'll be safe for a while. Hey, it opened. If you see a use for it, I say take it with you. I concur. I concur. All right, let's get on out of here. Hey, freakish quinky dink, you've been loving this game. I am so happy to hear that. Wait. Hold on. Be careful. There's another one. If it spots us, this could get nasty. Hey. But if we have the element of surprise, we could catch it off guard if we strike now, right? If you manage to successfully attack an enemy without being seen, there's a chance their entire break uh, gauge will deplete at once for an instant okay. stun. What do I have for items? Recovery. Uh, I guess just recovery rethink. items for right now. Let's go. Yo, someone hit me up with the lyrics. I like really, really want to sing along, but. <laughs> Hey, with negativity, you, you beat this two right? days ago and you kind of feel empty. 109 hours. You'll definitely look into 100%ing it. I know that feeling. I've had that before. I've definitely felt that before. I felt that with with Persona 5 and with TV shows, animes, books. Yeah. Even easier than expected. Whew. That should do it. The sign of a of a really great story. Oh, he's still breathing. 
but he's badly wounded. <sighs> An elder? Don't bloody touch me. I'm in a bad enough spot without you making it worse. That monster showing up was your fault, wasn't it? Bad luck follows you people. Ugh. Of course this is how it ends. Damn it. Damn it all to bloody hell. <clears throat> well, oh god, he died. The soldier appears to be dead. Well, that's what you get. I, maybe, I, I had medicine. I probably could have helped you. Run. You're so young. A fresh recruit? Get away from here now. That thing is up ahead. No. There's still more soldiers left alive, right? We can't just run and leave them be. You're too late. That monster, we can't. Just run away. Stay away from that thing. <gasps> Body is lying completely still. He's not here either. Where could he have gone? Hey. What have you been muttering to yourself this whole time? What has you so concerned? Damn it! Ah! Damn, Delta! I knew this fort was cursed! You're why that horror attacked! Hey. Calm down. It's not his fault the human appeared. You must know that, surely. But everyone's dead! They all had families! Help me, Elda. I don't care anymore. I don't want to die. Damn it. Their breathing has stopped. Hold on. Wait. You. You too. You're perhaps searching for someone? Uh, I can't answer that. <sighs> Yet you cannot deny it either. Why hide this from me? I trust you have a good reason. Well, to tell you the truth... What? That cry. Is that the human from earlier? Was that...? It sounded like it came from the top of that tower. Maybe there are still soldiers fighting in there. Oh. We'll handle our personal matters later. Rescuing any survivors takes precedence. To the top of the tower. Let's hurry. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. That should come in Medicine. Handy. Okay, now we can go. Now we can go. Ugh. Oh, let's sneak up on him. This battle's out. Let's give him my let's go. go. This is our chance. Burn to us! Boom. Easy peasy. Broken igniter. Oh, crafting material. Surprise! You never see it coming. I won't hold back. One. He's stunned. Burn to us. The next one will fall just as easy. Level up for greater heights. Stats increase. Confirm. I have two points. Oh, I have two points I can use. Let's go. Strength and agility. I think we got them all. We'll be safe for a while. Old coin. This battle's out. I'm gonna win this. I chose the wrong opponent. There are some enemies left. Stay sharp. Boom! This is our chance. I'm gonna win this. You're here. 
I need to find that red haired girl. My waifu. I think that's all of them. Let's give him a fight. This could be our chance. Everyone, go. Burn to us. Not bad. If I say so myself. Let's go. They chose the wrong opponent. Ragged fur. Come on. Oh. Okay. There's an the enemy there. I didn't even see him. The power of fire. It's kind of the enemies are kind of like. I think we got them all. We'll be safe for a while. It's creepy. Like they're called humans. They look really weird. But like we're fighting like a tooth? Like part of a human's body? I don't know. It's just weird. It's creepy. Hmm. The roof is just up ahead. Might I have a moment? If I'm honest, I have my doubts there could be survivors. Facing that monster together may not even save anyone at this point. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's the noble thing to do. Isn't that just throwing your life away? Why do this if it's possibly for nothing? I... Because if there's a chance that there's even one survivor, then I'll not be the noble who runs away. Not this time. I could never live with myself. Not this time? Oh, is there a story there? This time? Hey. And you? You plan to forge ahead despite the risk? I take it you refuse to die until you found whoever it is you're searching for. I won't let you die up there. That's true, Hemben. I can't just leave you to die up there. Huh, I'm touched. Even in a situation like this, you worry more for others than yourself. If I run away now, I'll never deliver the message and the prince will die. We have no choice but to press on. I'm heading out. Well then, lend me your strength. We going to do our first boss battle? Should we prepare for that? I think we should prepare for that. Let's see. Magla pill. Replenish one's magic power. Okay, Stroll, you've been, uh, <laughs> you've been really using that magic. Um, I don't have anything else that's going to help us with magic. But we can use some herbs. Alrighty. And I'm guessing, like, we can't save right now. What Let's go. This feeling, I knew it. That human from earlier is up there. What should we do? Let's go. Try not to do anything rash. Okay, here we go. Everyone looks thoroughly dead. We can't let it get away with this. We have to hold it off somehow. Peril! Damn humans. It was all because of them. We'll just have to make it work. No, this mission depends on our survival. Okay. I won't hold back. Burn! One damage? Monster. You're mine. I don't think we can fight this thing. What's going on? It didn't even flinch. Damn it all! I'm not going down like this. Okay. Homo Gorleo. He's got knives coming out of his feet. He's got... We'll fight with pride. That 
vine. Where is it coming from? It's just floating around him. He has tongues in his wings, mouths in his wings. It's okay. We can do this. Ready for impact. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to defend. This is clearly not a battle we're supposed to like win. Please. Right? <laughs> How is it this strong? What more can I do? The prince is my best friend. I need to save him. I can't die in a place like this. And yet. I'll distract it. You two run. What? Above all else, I am a noble. And a noble defends his people. No matter the cost. Farewell. If you would repay me, then live. Stroll! Stroll, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> oh! Listen, what? No! Please, say something! Shit. Don't be a fool. Just He's not dead yet. For it. <sighs> oh, fate saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. Uh. Thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the throne. A future yet unknown dawns in this moment. Thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. I choose. So be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Engrave thy very heart. Persona! Oh my goodness. Let's go. We have a cape! Fuck yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, yep, that's me. What the heck is going on? Anyway, we've got to find a way to fight back. Sick? Psych? Like cyclone? Deals weak magic, uh, wind damage. Day. Weak HP recovery for one ally. Okay, our... Ooh, look at us. Seeker. Look at our eyes. They're all glowing. Archetype skill. Seeker. Okay, let's use some ma uh, wind Still. magic. My own power doesn't even compare. What's more, I can use magic despite its lack of an igniter. Are you okay? If we don't push back, we're dead. Can't we fend off those attacks somehow? Attacking weak points. Certain enemies are weak to certain affinities. After you've hit one of those weaknesses, the word weak will be displayed. Hitting an opponent's weakness or scoring a critical hit against them will only decrease the turn icon by half. Okay. Looks like it mainly attacks with the head wings and blade feet. We can target those. Oh. Oh, God. All right. Um, we'll target the legs. Come forth, royal and then soul. I don't see a where it says weak. So we haven't hit it with its weakness yet. Wind. I think. Oh, there we go. 
and we can do by this power. So where's our turn? Okay, so we have one more turn. Come forth, royal soul. Scour. Push through. We've got to hit the other side too. Okay. All right, let's try the wings. Wind. You hit their weakness. The freedom of a wanderer. Come forth, royal soul. Scour. Come on. Oh, what is he doing? Wait, what? It's healing? It's eating its own fruit to heal? We can't kill it fast enough! It's just gonna fix itself up no matter what we do! Kick! I can't believe it's eating from its own body! Can you knock those apples off? Seeker! Let's do it! Wind! Oh, it's not weak to that. Oh boy. Thank you. Well, we could try to do a critical. Well, that didn't work either. If we don't take out those apple things, I think we'll regret it. You know, maybe there's something I can do. Hey, can you let me handle this? Go for it. Have Gallica knock down apples to keep the foe from healing. Uh, no. Uh, yes, obviously. Leave it to me. Yes, ma'am. Scour. I won't hold back. Wind. Keep going. We're almost there. One or two more should do it. Got him. I got a Gorleo's apple. I got 800 Reeve. Not bad. Rank up. I feel stronger. Two of 20. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get some magic true power is born of the heart a wish from which thy strength is drawn yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake we did it we beat our first boss Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero. The power that lies dormant in all of us. The power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shall reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You think I know? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! <sighs> Look, that stroll guy is still alive. I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. <gasps> Are you our contact? That voice. Grius! Oh, thank goodness you're alive. 
Galica, you made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry it. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. We did it! 